Secretary General, Reverend Brother Sanilal in the Provincial Jubilarians, Brothers Tommy, Anthony and Pauli, Reverend Father Sabu, St. Julius, Reverend Sister Alice, the Superior General Leslie, Provincial Superiors, dear fathers, brothers, sisters and my dear friends. We are here to thank the Lord for the graces that the good Lord has showered upon the congregation of the Missionary Brothers of, of Malabar Missionary Brothers and especially on Brothers Tommy, Anthony, Pauli and also Brother Joseph Pereira. At the very outset, let me extend Jubilee greetings to Brothers Tommy, Anthony and Pauli on my own personal behalf and on behalf of the entire Sagar Diocese. For the description Brother Sarnilal gave uh, on these brothers for the accomplishments they have done in the past 25 years, we know that they have been faithful to the Lord in their missionary vocation, in their religious vocation as brothers. So they deserve our congratulations and felicitations. Once again, on behalf of all the brothers, all the fathers, all the sisters and people present here, let me extend to you, brothers Anthony, Tommy and Pauli, hearty congratulations and jubilee greetings. Can give a good clap. During the year of the consecrated Pope Francis told to the religious, look to the past with gratitude, embrace the present with passion, and look to the future with hope. And let me extend this message to the jubilarians. Look to the past with gratitude, because the God has been good to you, and because of His grace, you could accomplish many things. Embrace the present with passion. You have the present given by the Lord and you can still accomplish many things and I think the best is yet to come. And look to the future with hope. Nothing should prevent you, nothing should impede you, nothing should frighten you because the future is in the hands of the God, of God who has called you and who is with you. And I must congratulate in a special way Brother Joseph Pereira who has embraced uh, the religious vocation to brotherhood by committing himself purposefully today. When there is scarcity, dearth of vocation, especially to brotherhood, Brother Joseph Pereira has boldly come and embraced this way of life. And he deserves our congratulations and on behalf of all fathers, sisters and other lay people present here, let me extend to you, Brother Joseph Pereira, our sincere good wishes and our prayerful support. Hearty congratulations. God bless you. All the best. We can give him also good applause. In the Gospel, there is a story. Mary comes to Jesus at his feet and he breaks a jar of precious oil and the, the gospel narrator tells the fragrance spread the whole house. And that is what we are called to, especially Brother Joseph and all other brothers, to spread the fragrance of the gospel, the fragrance of Jesus' love, the fragrance of God's mercy. And for that, you need to break the jar. You need to break yourself. May you have the courage to break yourself and to spread the joy, the fragrance, the love of Jesus to the people around so that they may have the radiance, the glow of Jesus' love. May God bless you.